Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the weekly rundown with Amy Sulam and Daniel Shoemake. What's up, everybody? I'm here with my number one trap queen, Daniel Shoemake. I'm number one now. You're number one Yay! now. Yay! Even though she's got a new toy, and I don't I know, know, it's it might be charged up. So if you're in the Nashville area and the lights go dim. <laughs> That means she just plugged it back up and turned it back on. Yeah, this is amazing. I, I find the most fun toys at, when I go playing around in John's closet. I get, get in there. Wow, that's a very long, dark hallway we're going to run down. It is. It's like <laughs> Sully's butthole. <laughs> it's a long, dark hallway to run down. Um, miss you, Sully. Love you, Sully. We haven't hung out forever. You can yeah. come back. Yeah, come anyway. back from... He's gonna be in. He's in Florida this week. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're in Florida. Well, I, the weather might be great, but he's having to deal with all. Of, <laughs> this is how I describe Florida. You take the entire country right. and turn it that way, and all the psychos run into Florida. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like the poor guy that was running from the cops and hiding from the cops and didn't realize that an alligator was eating him. How do you not know you're being eaten by I an swear to you, this alligator ate this burglar. It was great. And only in Florida. <laughs> only in Florida! Like, I would notice if an alligator was yeah, it's like the, eating me. Like, it's almost, that's almost as funny as the grizzly man guy. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, let me tell you my favorite yes. news story from this week. Is this man in Florida got arrested because he was <laughs> shooting arrows laced with weed into the second story of a jail. Like, so he's trying to get his boy some weed while he's in jail. Dude, it's Florida. Pay off a security guard. It can't be that expensive. Exactly. Throw him 50 bucks in a little, in a nickel bag and you'll probably be okay. Yeah, you'd be amazed. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite story what? of this week. That's like my favorite story of the month. He's like Robin from the hood. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's like, like you're getting Robin from... You're not even robbing, you're buying it. <laughs> and then you're given to the... He's Okay, so here's the other thing. is He was telling the police that he was squirrel hunting. But he never was able to... <laughs> Wait for it. Hang on, I've got a tie-in for this. This was the Half-Baked 2 shooting. Yeah. So the squirrel man is back in the plant prison protecting <laughs> and fighting off Nasty Nate. Because the, <laughs> and the squirrels got out. Yeah, but he's he's still. They said in the news story that he still was unable to explain as to why there had to be marijuana on the arrows to hunt for squirrels. <laughs> How? You can't even make that up. I mean, you're an incredibly funny comedian, but yeah. that's not you can't. Yeah, make that I can't up. make that up. That was no. it. Was like the most beautiful thing when I read that. I was like, I think Jesus loves me. <laughs> Like, That's about like the bit where Ralphie Mae has the pimp and the hoe come to his house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you, God. You are real and you love me. <laughs> and you would want me to be happy. All right, so let's see. Magic 8 Ball. Will we make the show make sense this week? Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Most definitely probably not. Signs point to yes. We're doing good on this. Like we're This is like three it. weeks in a row that it said we're going to make sense. But But then we watch the playback. Yeah, then we watch the uh, and we're like, maybe not. So, um, so you know what I want to talk about this week? Are we going to have a, a theme this week? We're going to have a theme this week. Okay. Do we need, we need like neon. We do. Light up like, uh, so yeah. imagine that we're not a low budget show and there's a neon. <laughs> imagine we have a budget. <laughs> imagine we have a budget that doesn't go to my lipstick and hair and it says the theme. So this week I've decided I'm going to do everyone a favor. Jets do it. And I give, mean. I'm going to give out some dating advice because I'm clearly amazing at dating and we're going to go in on our exes a little bit. Just a hair. Just a, just a smidge. Maybe like an Amy hair. Just a... like this long. <laughs> like, maybe up to here. Like, have you, like, have you ever gotten dumped by somebody that you didn't have any business messing with in the first place? Um. When you're like. Like, how, like, how do you mean, Matt? Like, they were psycho and you didn't need to be with them? Or mm -hmm. you were punching above your weight? Or, no. <laughs> which is kind of the same thing for no, me. No, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, where you just look at them and you're like. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. You better go call your mom. I don't, well, know what she I don't think that's ever happened to me personally, no. but it's always been, you look at him and go, why? Really? Why? Was I drunk the whole time? Yeah, like you're dumping me? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I got yelled at over the phone. But by an, from a long distance relationship, actually, because I was doing something that I'd planned on doing for two months, 
And Masturbating? She, no, it doesn't take me two months to plan that. Um, <laughs> that's more of the lines of, hey, I'm bored. Um, <laughs> I do the same thing. Yay! Um, Time but, to flick my bean. There's nothing on TV. Sploosh. Yep. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> John's head just exploded, literally. <laughs> um, so, and she called me, and she was highly intoxicated. I mean, I've been pretty drunk. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty blackout drunk, actually, and I've never been this intoxicated screaming at somebody. Mm -hmm. um, called me, then called my mom. Called your mom? Then called my dad. All right. Called my younger brother. Called my sister-in-law. She called me. She, yeah, I think she did call you, actually, and just decided to tell everyone about how terrible of a human being I was for not coming to see her. Hmm. And it got to a point where I told everybody, turn everyone in my phone contact list, turn your phones off. Yeah. Just, we'll deal with this later. Yeah, that was... Okay, anyway. I had somebody FaceTime me and cry. They well, see, cry on me. <laughs> like, I've had people FaceTime me and cry, but... That's because they just realized they're FaceTiming me. Yeah. I mean. No, this was like, this was like, I love you, but I don't want to be with you. How is this? I'm so confused. I was so that's a conundrum on many different levels. Yeah, no doubt. That's, that's. No doubt it is. No okay, doubt. this is, this is dating 101. Right. All right. Do not FaceTime somebody crying. If you're crying in FaceTime, you would be there be doing one of two things. One, recovering from an accident of vehicular somehow. Yeah. Motorcycle, car, vehicular boat. Vehicular somehow. Um, plane, bicycle, skateboard, you name it. If it moves and you've fallen off of it or have crashed it and you're crying, then you can FaceTime okay. or whoever. Yeah. Or two, that's about it. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's no, awesome. I was going to say yeah. you could be... The only time it works if it's of a guy is if, you know, if a, like a major sports hero is just retired. But that didn't even work then. Because no. ain't nobody like, you know. No, but there's, there's like, like nothing will make you feel like an awful human being as much as somebody being like, I really love you. Don't want to be with you. <laughs> and I'm just like, are you That's like a, that's the most, high? that's the most like, I'm going to compliment you, but then make you feel like crap on the other end of it all yeah. the way through. That's, that's like, like, that's like saying you're pretty for a fat chick. Like, oh, like, God. Speaking of exes. <laughs> oh. Is it Claire? Hi, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to break me. No, I'm not. My, my fucking family. The fucking family. The fucking family. The fucking mother. <laughs> Mama fucking. Making mother fucking. Mother fucking family. <laughs> We need t-shirts. Yeah, we, we have do. got to make shirts for that. I'm so I, down. I want one that I, says motherfucking. Yeah, if you, I want one that says that. And Why you, do we not have these for Geekonomicon? Because oh, we didn't think about it. No, we, we need it though. We suck. Well, well, we'll next time. Next so, time. okay, more dating advice. Um, ladies. Yes? Well, this is for you too. Anyway, but... <laughs> Ladies, when you show up for a date, uh -huh. this is just me. Okay. And you show up two hours late. Oh. And the guy's still there waiting on you. Mm -hmm. When you've been telling him you're 15 minutes away for the whole time. And you show up pre-drunk with another guy. Oh. I'm not paying for you. Don't get mad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not happening. That um, was a, that was a, that's why I can't go to Waffle House in certain areas oh, in Kentucky. <laughs> well, if you're in a Waffle House in Kentucky, you've already lost life. Oh well, yeah, pretty like, much. That's where she wanted to meet. So I was like, all right, whatever. Big night out. Big Apparently, night out, yeah. yeah. I think it was her uncle daddy that showed up too. Her uncle daddy. <laughs> um, so let's see. I've got some dating advice. Um, take a shower before you Just go. Just bathe. Bathe. Um, tell me I'm pretty a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like, just be like, you are so pray. Actually, um, just, this is what you do. Just wear a t-shirt. Oh my god, are we dating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, you qualify. Wear a t-shirt that just says, you're, Amy, you're pretty. And then right. you, you don't have to say another Why word. do we not have these t-shirts <laughs> that you get on con? Because you're not, oh, that's right. I'm sorry again. I'm getting so much from the fans about not being in We, have to, we still have to do our fundraiser. 
Yeah, we do. We have to do our fundraiser where you give me a dollar and I insult Daniel, even though I would do it for free. Yeah. Like, I like, I would do it. Like, I do it for free. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Yeah. Uh, is making fun of Daniel on the list because I would love, I'd love to do that. Sure. By the way, why do you look like college Santa Claus right college now? College Santa Claus right now. Santa the co- the college years. <laughs> It's no, it was no shave November, and everybody kind of liked it. So I said, I'm going to keep it for a while and see what happens. <laughs> as much as I love you, your opinion on my face or it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I'm just trying to help you. Like, it's oh, a okay. creepy, ginger esque beard. He's, I have seven colors in this freaking thing. He, he does look a little bit like Andy Rooney from, uh, Mickey Rooney from uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Oh, yeah. I, there's seven colors in this freaking thing. I swear, it's your beard of many colors. It is my beard. I am not. I'm really Joseph. <laughs> You're a Dolly Parton song. I am a Dolly yeah, Parton song. Parton. I am a walking, depressing. Do- anyway. Yeah, but that's without the beard. You're still I walking, know. depressing looking. You look like I don't know. You look like a like a well-educated lumberjack. I that's can't. Fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, it's it's weird. I can't get used to you with face hair. It's like. It's weirding me out a little bit. So, but you getting weirded out is like a, it's a badge of honor for me. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I mean, it's... he needs to do the glitter beard. <gasps> no, yes! no, yes! no, Bitch. no, yes, no, glitter beard. Not gonna happen. I'm calling your girlfriend. <laughs> you can call her, but she's probably gonna look at you and go, maybe. Yeah, because <laughs> she's amazing. She is. She's much better than me. Yes, yes, <laughs> she is. She is. Much I better can't than me. like. She's, yeah. She's Can't way argue with that no, one. She's, she's much way better. out of your league. I, oh she's kind God. of just she's she's smoking hot. His girlfriend's like, I would so fornicate with her. I, reckon, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, so anyway. in, in other news, um, do you remember the you remember the uh, rapper I was talking about that's still iller? I was gonna ask you about that. How's that? Um, does, okay. Here's the thing. He was trying to take my spot for a, for a minute. There. Yeah, trying to trying to be a yeah. co-host on yeah. the show. Nobody could ever take your spot, Daniel. I appreciate it. You're that. a special kind of awful. You're basically like <laughs> I'm awful. the bad taste in everyone's mouth, but they for some reason they keep coming back to it. That's what I say about never Anyway, mind. yeah. Um, hi Claire. <laughs> so, hi Claire. Um, so yeah, still which that's like his rap name still iller, but like I, I feel like it sounds more like an Instagram filter. It does. Kind like of. here's me having a life problem in still iller. And it would be literal and metaphorical at this point. <laughs> I'm not, no, that, we will get our F, F, SEC think, license yeah. revoked if I went with that joke. Yeah. I'll tell you that later. Okay, yeah, um. tell me that one later. <laughs> tell me that one off air. So, yeah, that, um, so, yeah, that was the thing. They he doesn't have any new music, but I came up with a way to make fun of his name, so I had to work it in. Oh, yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. I had to, I had to work it in somehow. It's always fun like that. We have to pick on everybody we can. Yes. Um, I will tell you all this, uh, there's somebody who I'm interested in, and right before we went on air, Daniel Facebook stalked them. Oh, I'm, a, I'm an S- expert Facebook stalker. Because he's a 15-year-old girl. Actually, I am. He's like, I need to see this That's person. like, well, okay, look, when someone that I'm as good at friends with comes up and's like, hey, I'm gonna go meet somebody. Like, well, <laughs> the older brother coming out, hang on a minute. <laughs> nope, I gotta check. Nope. Mm-mm, nope. I, I literally, I was like, you want me to go with you? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Like, I will chaperone. I will chaperone, and I'm like, you're not, I will. You're not invited. Okay, that's fine. Um, is it trying to invite yourself along next? I always do that. Yeah, Are you, you kidding do. me? Yeah, you do. It's crockray. It's cro- okay, so more date, more dating advice. Okay, um, don't pull a Caitlyn Jenner. And here's what I mean by that: don't start out as a dick and end up with a giant vagina. Okay, nobody likes to see you turn into a. Don't a, be a bro. And yeah. then turn into to a, a madam. And then turn into a hoe. I like that better. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't drive a big up. Don't drive a massive pickup truck when you probably should be driving a Prius. Yes. So don't don't talk a lot of big boy stuff about how how tough you are, and then turn into a little bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Just don't say anything about it. Just go do what you be you. That's yeah. What I, that's what kills me because the funny. <laughs> Watching people fail miserably mm-hmm. is my own little sick joke that I like to go and like whenever I go out. No wonder you're friends with me. I know it's great fun. I fail at life. All no, time. not that. It's more like people failing when they come up to you and fail. Yeah, that's even more fun. But it's almost you know you watch guys in these you know typical dance clubs or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't go to these places anymore, thank God. But you look around, and you're like you're wearing 
you're all wearing the same thing, you're in a pack of eight, and what makes you think you're going to find another pack of eight women that actually want to be with you? Right, exactly. No so, chick is going to be no. like, it's an army of bros? Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah. That's oh, oh, another thing that's a bad idea. Guys, and I can't stress this enough, um, do not, under any circumstances, send pictures of your genitals. No, don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do it. That's a way, way, way bad idea. Um, they don't want, no, they don't care. They don't even, they don't want, no, they don't even really want it. No, yeah, no, no. nobody wants to look at your penis, okay? No. Here's the thing, and I don't mean to be hurtful or insulting, but um, balls are ugly, and um, I just find them to be gross. So, like, I, I don't... You've seen the scrotum backpack now, haven't you? Yes, That's I have. That's kind of disturbing. Have you not seen this, John? It's oh, a thing. it's awful. It's a backpack that it looks like a scrotum. It is the worst. It's another one of those things, and hey, this is a great idea, let's make it. No! No, don't do that. Stop it! Um, Ugh. yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, another piece of dating advice that I would give is, um... Don't hit on the waitress while you're on a date. That's a good one. I've had that happen to me, too. You Have hit it. on the waitress? No, she hit on the waiter. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I still paid, because I'm a little bitch. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You pulled Caitlin. I did pull it. Well, no, it was more along the lines of me being an abused nice guy. How about that? That oh, that's incredibly sad. I'm like the lost little puppy that keeps getting kicked but keeps coming back. It's terrible. Yeah, well, here's the thing, though. Nobody wants to have a puppy. No. <laughs> like, no, they don't, actually. It's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, speaking of having sex with animals. Oh, um, God. There was a are we man, talking about? No, we're not talking about There was a guy um, in Chicago who dressed as a furry, like he's in that whole furry scene. Oh, goodness. And he got busted by the authorities having sex with a cat. He's charged. I heard with about this guy. Felony animal cruelty. Yeah. That. I think. I just want to hear the excuse. The cat yeah. wanted it, really. I, I think these people. Anyway. From what I can gather, anytime this guy pulled his genitals out, he was abusing somebody. Like, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody wanted. Mostly it. himself, but probably. Did it, but, but he anyway. did it while dressed as a dog in a dog costume. Like, what even is that? What. what I, I, Dogs and cats living together. Mass, mass hysteria. hysteria. <laughs> Waiting, I was waiting, and you did not disappoint no, me. No, that's that's the rarity because I usually am a disappointment. But you it's are, okay. you are, especially when. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so sad. I'm not. I'm so sad. Anyway, I'm it's saying. okay. It's all right. It's okay. So, um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, and in in Scotland, a burlesque entertainer set off smoke alarms by lighting her booby tassels on fire. That could be entertaining as long as you don't burn yourself because that's never a good thing. Yeah, if you scorch your lady bits I... we have no sympathy for you i'm sorry sorry yeah, yeah they're on fire set off smoke alarms it's crazy and apparently a piranha like fish called a paku got oh lit. those are huge okay they're very big they fish were, friends they, of mine had one they were nipping yeah. testicles of people going skinny dipping <laughs> oh the, okay if you're skinny dipping in paku fish infested waters you get what you ask for. yeah you deserve all right to you're have... gonna get that's you deserve have you seen have... these things no but they're this big. Piranhas aren't that big. They're about like that. No, yeah. Paku are huge. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not. And they're biting. And they're biting off testicles in the water. You deserve every bit of it, dude. Sorry. <laughs> not no sympathy. The Paku, the Paku are like, I'm sorry. I just find balls to be gross. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, No, I'm hungry. This is what happens. I'm having man fries tonight. He's like, Are you gonna send a picture of this to some poor girl on Tinder? <laughs> I'm saving. Oh um, God, Tinder nightmares. Oh, oh, they have a God. book of that now. Oh I need God. to buy that book. Just I, so we can sit here and go, this actually happened. Yeah, this oh. is a thing. <laughs> Open your passages My... to page 45, verse 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's our new Bible. Yeah. Yeah, my... My most recent tender nightmare came to a screeching halt last week. <laughs> Why have I not been told this? Have you? Did you screenshot it? Um, I'm about to be very disappointed in you. I'll show you all the deeds. Oh, I can't wait for this. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, <laughs> like a t like a tender that went on a conversation that went on for like a few months and then finally got together and then finally set it all on fire. <laughs> like, so this was this one of the ones where the picture was like from. Sophomore year of high school, and they're like 70 now. No, it's worse. <laughs> or 80? No, it's not about age. It's about. Did you know this person in a previous life? I feel like I did. Oh, <laughs> it can't be good then. <laughs> it's, it's way bad news. Oh no, way bad news. that makes me unhappy. In other in other news, I'm I'm totally broken hearted. <laughs> I can tell right now. No, you're not. Yes, this I'm... gives you 
material. I know. <laughs> you know. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use you it. You should. Me and that and the Instagram filter. <laughs> it does, his, his name is an Instagram filter. It is. Have you seen the people that are naming their children after Instagram filters now? No. Oh, it's going on now. They've named their children Nashville and oh. Valencia. Well, Valencia I can see, but Nashville and well, let's let's go through and see how. Let's see what they are. Hood rat ratchet. These people are. Yeah, I love searching for hood rats. So. It is a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite fun. <clears throat> so anyway, we'll look at we're gonna look up these filters and see what we got here. Okay, we're gonna use that. Hang on. Okay. Um, gingham. Gingham. That's that's not gonna work. Um, Lark. That could possibly work. Juno. Juno was a movie. Still iller. Still now. Nah, I don't see still <laughs> iller. Ludwig. What the? Whatever. Amaro. Why, why do I know that Amaro? It's like that's a last name of someone famous, isn't it? Obviously, they're not that famous. Uh, people don't think who they are. No. Mayfair, yeah. Mayfair. That's like a anyway. Uh, X Pro. X Sierra Willow Lo Fi. That's what I'm naming my unborn children. Lo, Lo Fi. and Fi. Lo uh, Fi. They'll be twins. <laughs> oh my Asian. god. An Asian. Asian. Lo Fi Asian Lo -fi. twins. Anyway, wow. So, um, <laughs> this show is completely disintegrated. The Magic Cable all lied to us because it's totally not making this is sense. Not making sense. Like there will be like. Four people who would watch actually the yeah four people will watch this show and and understand who and what it is exactly because we're talking about them more than like and they'll be like mad they'll be all mad about you'll it. get me angry tweets and I will won't get anything because I'm not on Twitter yeah I'll get angry tweets which, by the way I love we, so go ahead you need to send me some angry tweets just I so that I can see them and go oh that's, oh, that's love yeah that's beautiful that's wonderful. We should do ang read angry tweets. Yes. Read mean tweets. Yes. We need to do that. We will. We'll do that next week. Yes. Well, we'll I'll, I'll gather my favorites. Like the one guy who tweeted me and said, uh, Amy Sulam looks like the physical embodiment of AIDS. Um, That's love, actually. It, it really is. Because AIDS is a worldwide thing. Right. <laughs> it's so... But here's the thing. Anybody with AIDS looks like a physical embodiment <laughs> yeah, of AIDS. Like... Like, you all look like Tom Cruise dying in... Interview with a vampire. So, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that was that one. I, I really like. Or Charlie Sheen. Take your pick. Yeah, Charlie Sheen coming out saying that he's HIV positive. I was like, you know, you know, it's bad when the HIV positive community is like, now we're. No. Gonna, yeah, they're like, now we're gonna get bad press. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you. Sorry, we're giving you back, Charlie. Yeah, you we can... actually do have a cure. We're gonna give it to you. That way, we can't. We don't have to claim you. Yeah, if Charlie Sheen had the same disease as me. Um, like if any, I would be like, just please take me now, Jesus. Take yeah. me now. Just go ahead and kill me now. Just please. Although it will be Charlie Sheen, Keith Richards, mm -hmm. and Lenny from Mo Lemmy from Motorhead. Those are going to be the three people that yeah. survive. Yeah. The a, a, a nuclear apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah. And Keith will be able to look at the, co the other cockroach that's left and go, you know, I smoked your uncle. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> the cockroach is going to go, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Because I'm a cockroach. You're anyway. a weird, strange being that's hovering above yeah. me. He gets his blood changed like a Chevrolet. Like he goes Ew. to Sweden and like gets his blood changed. Oh. Who gets his blood? A poor unfortunate I know, soul. that would be terrible. Oh my Blah. god. Anyway. Oh, changing your blood. Yeah. Ew. Nash Vegas. Nash in Hermitage Vegas. on yes. Friday. Yes, this Friday I'll be performing in Nash Vegas in Hermitage. Show starts at 8 o'clock. Um, is there a cover charge? There is not. It's a free oh, show. That's even better. Yeah, you get to see me for free. Um, so you're very, very lucky with that. And um, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be performing. And then afterwards, I'm going to be raising all kinds of hell with my friend Cynthia. Uh, her, boy, oh. her boyfriend owns the place. And oh. she's such a fun person. I'm glad the pictures of that night are gone. Yeah. I'm really glad because I still get... I still get looks. Then she goes... Really? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Yes. It was Amy and Sully. It was their fault. Yeah, that's I what was, happened. They got me drunk. That's what happens. That is what happens. Anyway. Yeah. Yes, so I'm going to be doing that. You guys are going to be at Geekonomicon. We're going to be at Geekonomicon. I will be walking and, around as a bellhop probably. So. Yes. And look, look, fans, I, I really do love you. I promise that I will make Camera it. Running. I will make it to a con. And yes, I will. I will be there to meet you in person. I swear. Okay, Scout's honor. 
I'm not going anywhere near that one. <laughs> That's why I got kicked out of Scouts, actually. <laughs> Rim shots. Oh, she just, I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Um, yes, I promise I will make it to a con, so you don't have to keep reminding me about how I constantly yeah. let you down. Um, and I will do it, and when I show up, it's going to be amazing. Because we're going to be insult. Yes, you give me a dollar, and I will insult Daniel, and we will send, we will uh, donate the money raised to suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. So that will be super, super. And she awesome. can finally do her nerd jokes. Yes. Finally. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, She's got like three books full of stuff that she hasn't been able to use yet. Yeah, like Harry Potter owls. Um, you have owls. No, but I got a joke about Harry Potter's owls. That sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Um. Yeah. And just all kinds of things. Yay! Yay! Um, do we have any other news? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> we are <laughs> wrapping up. <laughs> I can't look at your face right now. You can't look at my face anyway, so how is no. that any different? No. I guess John's just going to let us roll and roll and roll forever. No. I think we're going to have to get out of here. We right? are. We're going to have to leave in a tick. Yeah. But, um... You guys are amazing. Have, Love you. Have a fantastic week. Next week, we will be reading mean tweets. I will pull some of my all-time favorites. Um, and I will try and do it in character. Yes. Now, if you want to try and get your tweet read by me on this show, you've got a whole week to tweet me. Um, give her all she's got. <laughs> like I'm. Call Scotty. Yes. Like, really get in there and come out swinging. Um, and maybe your tweet will get read. Who yeah. knows? All right. That's it for us in Weekly Rundown. Mwah. Bye.